We're gonna uh, we're gonna work on a Morote Gari. Double leg, uh, both hand reap. Uh, it, it's you see it in sambo, you see it in wrestling, you see it in just about everything. It's a double leg takedown, double leg throw. This is no takedown. This is a definite throw. And the angle we're gonna come at here is we're gonna, it's not your straight freight train shot. It's an angle. So Derek, which side are you coming from, Derek? Okay, go ahead and go that side. All right. So you want to come at an angle so he can attack and get a good sweep. So watch what he does when he steps in. You'd be in the proper spot where you want to be. Okay. So he's going to be shooting. And watch his right foot as he comes in. He kind of hits. And as he drops, okay, now real quick, see how his right foot's out here, guys? That's going to be the thigh sweep. That's going to be really banging him. But his head is over here on the opposite hip. So his head is actually on Eric's right hip. So he's got his shoulder right in his gut. Notice the, the drop step really low, his back straight. He lowered his levels with his legs. All those things you do in a double leg take down the throw. But notice here, and he's really got him tight. Now what's gonna happen when he lifts him, he's going to lift him sideways and then thigh sweep and send him into orbit. And that decided who won the fight right there, okay? You do that to the guy in the 7-Eleven parking lot, Hire a lawyer. Okay, so, there you go. so this, this is a very good move. I first saw this actually not in Sambo, but Robert Vanderwall, the Olympic judo champion, who was a master of double legs and all kinds of leg attacks. He wouldn't be allowed to do any of this in the IJF now, by the way, but this was brilliant stuff back in the 70s and 80s when he was doing it. He threw a lot of guys with this move. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's certainly his stuff that we're just copying and we're trying to stay with his uh, his skill level if we can. I don't think that'll ever happen, but we're, we're trying our best. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna shoot in, he's gonna, at the angle, now notice he's not straight in, kind of be straight into him. We don't wanna be straight into him, okay? We wanna be off the angle. So so Derek is moving to his right, so look at, he's at the left angle of Eric. This is important, the angle on this is important. So when he shoots in, he's got ready access, to let him have it. He steps in, he does his does throw. And you notice how he lifted and turned over his right shoulder. He didn't take him straight back like a football tackle. It's a big, it's a big lifting throw. It's a beautiful throw. You notice the real high amplitude. That, that definitely decides. That would be a pawn in judo, certainly freestyle judo. Sambo, because he went down with him before points in a fight, like I said, he'd be splattered. The fight would be over. You know, this is why I say throws or submission techniques, because this is a good example of it. One more time, and then I'll let you guys practice. So when he comes in, he shoots from the, from the angle, and he goes. And I might also say, you notice how he grabbed and grabbed each leg separately. All those things you do in Morote Gari, with a both hand take down and throw, are there. Don't lock your hands together. Lock them in tight, and you, you thigh sweep. Just one more for the road. Okay. <laughs> Come, he knows the angle sign. Okay, there he goes. Man. And that thigh sweep was a big lifting movement. Okay? You really feel good from this side. What's that? You can see his leg really good from this side. You really can. Yeah, you can be just from way up high. That thigh sweep is essential because it adds a lot more momentum, a lot more power to the finished product to throw. Want to try that? Let's give it a shot, guys and gals. <laughs> 